собак и герой. Вырубай этот ролик нафиг, потому что он испортит твою психику. Hi friends, in today's video, I want to tell you about mirrors at the request of a subscriber, ghosts in mirrors and the appearance of evil coming out of mirrors. Mirrors have always been objects that entailed mystery and mystery. They reflect not only our appearance, but also the world that surrounds us. Mirrors were considered a way to look at other realities and travel to parallel worlds. However, in some legends and beliefs, Mirrors are also connected with ghosts and the appearance of evil. Since ancient times, people have believed that mirrors are able to capture the energy and souls of the dead. Therefore, they were used in rituals of contact with the other world. In these rituals, mirrors acted as portals through which communication with the dead could be established. However, such contact with the other world often led to the appearance of sinister ghosts and entities. A mirror is one of those objects that evoke awe and reverence. A mirror is a magical object that is used by witches and sorcerers to perform secret rituals. In ancient traditions it is said that a mirror is a vampire in which there is negative energy. Especially scary are other people's mirrors and mirrors that were present during a quarrel, murder or torture. They say that in the presence of such mirrors, church candles go out. Since ancient times it was believed that if you do not close the mirrors located in the house of the deceased, then his soul may remain in them. If the mirror is still opened, it must be broken so that the soul of the deceased leaves. The mirror has dual magic, it exists simultaneously into worlds, physical and spiritual. It is because of this that an ancient object has the power to guide spirits or otherworldly beings through its reflection into the physical world. However, without a certain ritual, it is not easy for a spirit to get into the physical world, but it can carry away with it, using a mirror as a tool for its purpose. The mirror has its own memory. The mirror image leaves in the memory every action, a certain psychological character, made in front of him. In most cases, these are acts of a violent nature, murders, all events that highlight a certain psychological timber, this emotional, psychological wave is recorded by the mirror. If the mirror uses an evil spirit or an otherworldly being, it can use these memories. The mirror has the ability to let the deceased in. There are certain rules when using mirrors. One of them is to hang a mirror after a person's death. What for? The answer is that the mirror is like an astral gate, the deceased can use it to enter the physical world and remain restless, or there is a possibility of the spirit being trapped in the mirror. Imprisonment carries with it a great danger, from insanity to the curse of the whole family. To free the soul trapped in the mirror, you need to break the mirror. A mirror can also age or rejuvenate a person. There is a possibility of aging due to the mirror. It is believed that the mirror can act as an energy vampire when looking at yourself for a long time, especially looking into your eyes. The mirror clogs part of a person's energy, thereby weakening it and causing the aging process. However, it can also create a rejuvenating effect. To obtain such opportunities, the mirror must be carefully assembled in a certain way. For this it is worth contacting a specialist. Mirrors are an ordinary and mandatory attribute when conducting fortune telling. With the help of mirrors, they guess at the future, at the narrowed one, love and so on. Also divination of a more serious level, such as summoning creatures that can cause harm. Mirrors reflect the essence of a person, his soul, 
It is not uncommon for the mirror to display something other than in front of him. The same person could turn away and in the reflection stands and looks at himself. In this case, this mirror's cursed or an impure entity lives in it, which wants to get out of there by persecuting the owner. In ancient times, people were afraid of mirrors and used them as carefully as possible. When applying mirrors to magic, it is worth doing this with an experienced magician, adhering to all safety rules. You should not joke or show disrespect and anger during divination. Thereby you can bring an unclean spirit or a creature from another world into the physical world, which is very difficult to take back and sometimes no one can do it. Many beliefs are associated with mirrors. For example, a full-length mirror takes energy. Babies are not brought to mirrors. There will be problems with teething. You can't eat in front of a mirror. Eat beauty. You can't swear in front of it. Look into it during illness and in no case can you take mirrors from the dead or mirrors with an unknown past. The ancients paid special attention to mirrors in the bedroom due to the fact that during sleep a person becomes especially susceptible to external influences. Since his brain works at the subconscious level and even the most subtle vibrations that remain completely unnoticed during the day, during waking hours, can disturb the sleeper. Legends say that the souls of all who looked in them are enclosed in ancient mirrors. It is believed that if a mirror keeps the reflection of an evil person, say, a murderer, then it becomes evil itself. The same is said about the disease, if the patient looked in the mirror, then healthy family members can't look there, they will get sick themselves. It is believed that it is easiest to communicate with the spirits of the dead with the help of a mirror. So the psychiatrist Raymond Moody conducted an experiment where he was equipped with a room with mirrored panels and in which mentally healthy volunteers were located. Many of them, after the end of the experiment, claimed that they had seen the spirits of the dead and even felt their touch. Interesting results of the experiment using Kozarev mirrors, concave, aluminum, almost 5,000 people took part in the experiment. The essence of the experiment is to transmit information between people using mirrors. As a result, it was confirmed that mental images can be transmitted using mirrors. In some cases, the information was received several hours earlier than it was submitted. Such phenomenal mystical properties of mirrors were studied by Paracelsus, who proved that mirrors are some kind of tunnels that can connect two worlds together, the physical and the otherworldly. Many legends are associated with otherworldly worlds, which, presumably, can be accessed through a mirror. One of these legends says about the existence of a parallel world, where you can get to if you pass through a mirror at a certain point in time. This world is a mirror image of our world, but with elements of magic and fiction. Mirrors, from the point of view of some scientists and philosophers, are a tool for knowing oneself and one's inner world. They claim that through reflection in the mirror we can see not only our appearance, but also the reflection of our thoughts, emotions and subconscious states. Thus, the mirror becomes a bridge that allows us to look deep into our soul. If you believe the legends, in order to penetrate into the other world through a mirror, it is necessary to fulfill a number of certain conditions. Some argue that you need to stand in front of a mirror on a full moon and believe in the power of your intention. Others believe that it is necessary to enter a trance state and visualize the desired reality. However, despite numerous stories about traveling to the other world through a mirror, no one has yet been able to confirm such statements by scientific methods. A mirror, according to some, can serve as a door to the other world or a gateway to self-knowledge. But despite numerous legends and beliefs, 
There are only incomplete studies in this area that cannot yet confirm or refute such theories. While remaining a mysterious object, the mirror continues to delight us with its beauty and, perhaps, the secrets that it keeps. Do you know the secrets about mirrors? Tell us about it in your comments. See you soon, tomorrow.